Hey guys, just thought I'd make a little update video in light of iOS 7 being released today, which of course is something very exciting, something I've been waiting for for a very long time, and I'm not running the final version yet, I'm having a hard time downloading it myself because of the high demand, but I will have it soon. Now this is still a beta that I'm showing you guys, however, in this video I'm just going to talk about iOS 7 and the jailbreak. Well, there's great news. Pod2G is very optimistic about iOS 7 and jailbreaking it. Now, he's not giving us an estimated time of arrival, an accurate one anyways. He did say three to four months about two, three weeks ago. However, he's very optimistic that he is making progress. Now, Apple is going to be releasing iOS 7.0.1 very soon. You know, it's just a follow-up update to iOS 7 where they're going to squash a bunch of the bugs and all of the bad experiences you might find in iOS 7 initially. Now, of course, it is always exciting for me to hear iOS 7 jailbreak news, especially when it's this optimistic. And with iOS 7.0.1 on the horizon, you guys want to make sure do not update. So don't update if you're looking for an iOS 7 jailbreak because the newest update will patch many exploits that will be used in the iOS 7 jailbreak. So that's just a quick warning to you guys. You know, if you don't care about the jailbreak, go ahead and update. Enjoy the latest version. You know, make sure to wait until it is okay to do so to update. All right. So if you guys are on iOS 7 beta, you actually will not be able to update to iOS 7 from your device. You'll have to use iTunes. It's not really hard, but it does take a little bit more time. I was actually having trouble and hopefully I'll get that figured out soon. Well, that's iOS 7. It was released today. I do hope you guys all enjoy. It's a wonderful operating system, very colorful, very bright, you know, just a new look and overhaul in general. Now, iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S. I am actually very excited for the 5S, not so much for the 5C. Honestly, I wouldn't even order it personally if it wasn't for this channel to show you guys what it is and how it compares. It's basically an iPhone 5 clad in a plastic shell. What is there new? I couldn't even tell you. I mean, there's only a few little things like the front FaceTime camera, Bluetooth 4.0, and the wide array of LTE support. Other than that, the same power in a plastic shell for $100 less than a 5S. So my personal suggestion to you guys is if you are looking to upgrade your iPhone, do not get the 5C. You will regret it because I'd rather spend $100 and get a phone that's that much better, that much more powerful than you know, with a new touch ID thing with a fingerprint. It's worth the $100, guys, trust me. If you were to buy the 5C, you know, the only reason I think to get it is because you really like colors and you like the iPhone 5 power. It suits you just fine. Now, I'm personally going to be standing in line because I doubt I'll get a pre-order in. I want to get the iPhone as fast as possible. So I'm going to be at Pioneer Place in Portland, you know, waiting in the line. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. So guys, just wanted to update you with some iOS 7 news, the jailbreak. And I'll see you guys very soon with the new iPhone 5S and 5C. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your iOS 7 experience. Peace.